Private investigators, what can I do for you? It's coming! He knows! Please, help us! Hi! New case, gear up. there. I've heard Manemo Sign Asylum is totally self-sufficient. This is where I traced that weird phone call we received. You get any leads on who might have placed it? I guess we're the only ones getting on the island rather than off it. Hope we make it indoors before the storm hits. Ring the gate. You have better social skills than I do. Yes? Who is it? My colleague and I are private investigators. We'd like to speak to whoever's in charge around here. A private detective? One more, please. Let's go. My name is Claudia Kortz. I am in charge of this asylum. Why are you here? I received a distress call from someone in your asylum. That is extremely unlikely. Oh. No! I bet a month's salary he's the one that phoned me. You said it was unlikely someone from here needed help. Because it is true. Now one of your employees is dead. Professor Crow? Jo Jonathan was my friend. I, I don't know what to say. Please, do your best and determine what happened. You must excuse me. I, I don't know what to think of all this. I'd like you to leave me alone. What was Professor Crow's job? And who's Gordon? Professor Crow was our therapist. Gordon visited him once in a while. Uh, he, something about night terrors. I need to take a look in Professor Crow's office. Second floor, left wing. Just don't be too nosy. Go check the professor's office. I'll take care of the body and alert the authorities. Clumsy. I'm blind without my glasses. Can you help me find them? Thank you. A wet floor can be treacherous. I heard someone scream. What happened? Professor Crow fell out a window. He didn't make it. Professor Crow is dead? Oh no. I... I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. 
sorry, but I need time to process all of this. is locked by Crow himself before his death or by someone else. This is more than a desperate person jumping out of a window. What happened here? was sitting in his armchair. He had a box with him. Something happened. The professor drops the box on the floor. Someone enters the room, leaving footprints. Crow grabs the telephone and throws it at the suspect, smashing the glass cabinet. He picks up his cane and takes a swing at the perp, but is overwhelmed. The cane smashes the glass table. The attacker comes closer and leaves deep cuts on the wall. Crow steps back. He throws a lamp between him and his opponent. Then, the professor falls out of the window. Was he pushed? The suspect approaches the couch and picks up the teddy bear? He rips off the toy's head and throws it near the armchair. Last, he cuts a name on the painting. Ginger. After leaving his message, the killer flees. This was no suicide. Why did the murderer write that name on the painting? phone number.
photo of a little girl. Wonder who she was. Something's wrong with the lights. What the? What was that? Am I hallucinating? My head feels like it's in a vice. This was no suicide. We may have a suspect. Who's Gordon? Gordon is our janitor. He used to visit Professor Crow for therapy. He recently suffered from night terrors. He's been acting strange. There was also a girl's name, Ginger. I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone by that name. Are you okay? You look pale. I had the strangest vision. Must be all the stress lately. Well, after witnessing what you did, who wouldn't? Mrs. Kreitz, I'd like my partner to search the facility. Oh, what choice do I have? Follow your gut. I'll stay here and try to get a hold of the authorities. Here is a map of the facility. You don't want to get lost around here. just moved. It's just a mannequin's arm. I must be seeing things. someone on the other side. Maybe I can get his attention. I don't think he can hear me.
there's a fishing line rigged all over the place. It disappears into the ceiling. Understand, I did what I had to. The madness won't stop until I end it. Gordon is inside. I need to get in there. to get rid of that smoke. <laughs> this box is making that smoke. I need to get rid of it.
don't understand. I must be losing my mind. This must be Gordon's hideout. Gordon, I'm not here to hurt you. You can't stop me, little girl. I'm sorry, love, but don't interrupt me. I'm going to kill him, erase him from the face of this earth. I'm not getting killed like Professor Crow. He was weak and felt he deserved it. You see, I know who's behind this. I know who's behind the murders and the fire. There's only one way to end this. To kill the person responsible. Raskov. Gordon's gone. What was he doing here? Gordon throws darts at the poster. Hastily, he searches his toolbox for something and makes a spill near the sink. He then opens the cupboard and brings out a box of dynamite. Gordon takes a fistful of dynamite sticks, cuts some wire, and wires the dynamite. He smashes a bottle of whiskey against the wall. He adds nitroglycerin to his bomb. He rips the map off the wall. Then, he throws it in the corner. He goes outside and locks the door. He takes the bomb with him. I need to get out of here and warn everyone. Gordon must really hate this guy. like some kind of code. It may be important.
The asylum building is intact. I need to hurry. Oh, you startled me. I came to pay my respects. Nobody else is going to. What? Warden has a bomb? You need to warn Miss Kreutz. What's going on? Who is that? He's got a bomb. He wants to murder one of the patients. We need to stop him! Bomb is disarmed. All right, lunatic, speak up. <laughs> I ain't telling you squat. Tell us before I break your teeth in. It's Zed. Zed Roscoff. He's the arsonist who torched the city back in 48. He's the one who started the fire four years ago. He wants us all dead. He's the one responsible for killing that little girl. What are you talking about? Ginger. Ginger Bellows. A young girl sent here from an orphanage. Roscoff lied to Crow about getting better and... What the... Impossible. How did you... Stay away from me. Where am I?
mom is gone. Did the killer take it? Owen, can you hear me? He's out. I need to wake him up fast. Here goes. Sorry. Oh, what happened? Someone attacked us. I think I blacked out. Where's Gordon? The bomb. The bomb is gone, and Gordon fell off the ledge. I need to speak to Dr. Kreit. What are you talking about? I'm telling you, there's someone who wants the whole staff at this asylum dead. He almost killed me. A hypnotist? Nonsense. That's just Gordon's madness getting to you. Listen to me, lady. Two men are dead, and my partner and I are facing someone extremely dangerous. Maybe it's time you cut us some slack. Now, please, open the courtyard and let my partner look for Gordon. He may still be alive. I hope you know what you're doing. Dr. Clark, I have moved the professor's body to the operating room as you asked. Thank you, Mr. Peaks. Now, please open the door to the courtyard for our pair of detectives. Yes, ma'am. This way, please. On the right, lead to the part of the asylum that got burned four years ago. It's not safe to wander there. Someone stuffed the lock again. Very funny. You want to open the door? Be my guest. I don't have patience for this. This is the spot where Gordon fell. That was quite a fight Gordon took. Pew! Bam! Glass everywhere! <laughs> I loved it! Don't look so disgusted, detective. I'm crazy, remember? Oh, you should go visit. It's so lonely in here. I'd love to chat. Chat, 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 chat. This must have been Zed. I need to speak to him later. I'll open the library after we sort out the situation in here. at the library to keep the patients away from the scene outside. We need to turn off the sprinklers. Try the valves to your right.
now we can take a look at the body. Gordon was a bitter guy. After the fire, I saw him drunk all the time. He had his issues. Still, we can't just let him lay in there. If you could find a pair of garden shears, we could remove those branches and move the body. I'm going to bring something we can move Gordon with. This is not good. Can you look for the shears while I try to figure out what happened?
right. Help me move Gordon into the wheelchair. Darn it. Nothing seems to work here anymore. I can't move the wheelchair like this, and I'm definitely not carrying a corpse. Mr. Detective, can you give me a hand with Gordon, please? Of course. Good thing we managed to fix the wheelchair. Meet me up in the main hall. Come on, let's head upstairs. Mr. Piggs, I'd like to ask you some questions. Can we meet with Mrs. Kreitz downstairs? I guess. I'd be glad to help. I'll stall them for a while. Try to access the closed ward. We need to find out what this Zed character knows. This door looks heavily guarded. It must be the entrance to the closed ward.
there's a five-digit number on the ID. germs are in the air. You need to open the window. Open the window! Save us! We're safe, for now. The germs left the room. Play my game, and I will show you Zed's secret. My game is missing one block. Can you help me find it? Let's play, but only once. I've got important things to do. You want to see Zed souvenirs?
It's still dripping. This should turn down the dripping noise. I must warn you, detective. There are powers at play here, beyond you and your partner. If you want to know who's next in line, you will do me a favor. My mosaic is incomplete. Some crazy must have taken a few pieces. You're not supposed to be here. I must escort you outside. I'm going to secure the greenhouse so no one else gets hurt. Keep away from the closed ward. Understand? This is your first and final warning. The nurse opened the library. I can go inside and look around. What the? Oh, oh, it's just a shadow. This place creeps me out. The tree casts the spider on the floor. Hmm. spider won't get me as long as Mr. Mittens protects me. Mr. Mittens? Where are you? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I can't find my kitty. My eyesight isn't so good. With this, I should be able to find Mr. Mittens. I broke the ball. It makes me sad. Mom always said I was clumsy.
keep it. I'd probably just break it again. Mr. Mittens! The spider is gone! I can finally reach the bookshelves! I don't need Mr. Mittens for protection anymore! Alright, I got Mr. Mittens. You should read this book! You will find it interesting. Everything you need is in that book. Thank you. Oh no, Mr. Mittens is injured. I need to make room for him. for healing Mr. Mittens. I'm so happy. I must warn you, that chair is really uncomfortable.
I don't have time. I need to make my puzzle more difficult. again. Make it stop. Hey, what? What's wrong with you? Can you hear me? I can't take any more risks with you. Please, don't struggle. Why is my partner locked up in there? Because she's delusional. Nonsense. Not everyone in here is crazy, you know. I'm just doing my job. I think you should talk to Dr. Kreitz about this. years ago, after the fire, accusing me of the whole thing. Such injustice. What if I told you it was Kreitz who played dirty back then? <laughs> She'd do anything to save her and Professor's reputation. What if I told you Robin is here? I'm sure you're eager to meet him. Here. Take this and be a detective. Bring me my metal souvenir, and I will give you something in return.
detective. I can see you're so eager to get out of here. Here, have fun. Hello? Owen, is that you? Ah! What do you... No! No! Owen! Watch out! I need to get out of here, now. Okay. It's not that high, right? I don't want to die. to find her. I'm about to. I spoke to Kreit. She's hiding something. I tried to convince pigs to let me into their archive to check. Oh, my head. This is not happening. This is not happening. Please, calm down. Please don't hurt me. It's all right. No one is going to hurt you. I need your help. Please go and find Dr. Kreutz or Nurse Ashley and tell them to call for help. Okay, okay, we'll do that. Here sooner. Owen and the nurse are arguing about something. Pigs opens the cabinet and suddenly loses it. He charges at Owen and punches him hard. Owen pushes Pigs back with both his legs. The nurse crashes into the wall. Owen pulls out his gun and tries to reason with his opponent. But the nurse doesn't care. He rips an extinguisher off the wall. Owen fires a warning shot and hits the lamp. He fires at the extinguisher. The nurse throws it at Owen. Owen accidentally fires at the electric lock. He then drops to the floor, unconscious. The killer appears. And stabs the nurse almost instantly. He left Owen alive, but why?
It's a photo from Zed's therapy. Crow did try hypnosis on him. A successful treatment, or was it? It's Ginger, escorted to the asylum by a policeman. It's Gordon. A photo from the day the fire took place. Claudia's palms are in bandages. What happened back there? It's the fire department inspector. Looks like they are sealing a deal. Is that a hidden safe? Maybe I can zoom in on it. I should print this picture. It might be useful. I can use it to access the safe once I find it. I heard someone scream downstairs. Will you go check on it? I'll try to help your partner. Dr. Kreutz, please wait. What is going on? Dr. Kreutz, please wait.
This is where we found little Ginger's body. She was like a daughter to me. A daughter I never had the chance to have. All I wanted was to see her face once again, just this once. Please, the locket is the last thing that remains. Please, the locket is the last thing that remains. Ginger was not supposed to be here. She was fine. Professor Crow wanted to sign her off. But I didn't let him. I made her stay until that fateful day. I'm not sure how the fire started. But I know it was Zed's work. He's a dangerous person. Professor Crow tried to stop him, but it was too late. He had already won. 
poor little girl. She ran in the wrong direction. Deeper into the east wind. The pumping mechanism malfunctioned. Gordon tried to restart it manually. He lost two of his fingers trying to help. Will was ordering the evacuation of the female ward. It was chaos. He saw Ginger. But before he could react, a fire extinguisher exploded nearby. Will lost an eye that day. Ginger ran into our chapel. She was petrified of fire. The old ceiling gave in. I tried to save her. I didn't care about the fire. I didn't care about anything. I did all I could. Will pulled me away, and the fire kept on spreading. Sedative X was considered dangerous because it may be lethal in large doses. There's nothing you can do for me. Don't beat yourself up over this, Detective. Do something I couldn't and stop him. For good. Dr. Kreutz? Claudia? She's gone. I found Will. He's dead. What is going on here? Is Mrs. Kreutz... Is she... Oh no... I... I moved the patients to the West Wing. They should be safer there. I need you to help my partner. He's injured pretty badly. We can move him to our sick room. I can help him there. Thank you. We'll come back for Dr. Kreutz once this is over. got hit pretty hard. I'm astonished he's still alive. Can you pass me that spirit bottle so we can get Mr. Tough Guy here cleaned up? the trick. Normally this would burn like crazy, but I don't think he can feel much right now. There should be some bandages in the locker. Stop the bleeding. This is all I can do for now. It's... it's you. Thank heavens. You need to call for help. There is a radio station in Claudia's office. Here are the keys. Hopefully you'll reach someone over this storm. I'll be here with Owen if you need me. I did not expect to see this. What on earth happened here?
Claudia is trying to use the radio station, but loses her temper and hits the metal box. She is looking for something inside her bag. And on the shelves, she drops a few books on the floor. Hastily, she goes through her things on the desk. She goes through the drawers. She finds what she was looking for. She pours herself some water from the decanter. And spills. Claudia approaches the mirror. She swallows the sedative X. She takes a swing, smashing the mirror with her glass. She loses her balance and leans on the curtain. Before leaving, she takes a photo off the wall. Now I know what happened. The radio station is my only hope. Can anyone hear me? This is Nemesign Asylum, requesting assistance. This is Baywatch Patrol. What is your emergency? There has been a murder. The suspect is armed and is still at large. We also need medical assistance and evacuation from the island. Copy that. The storm will slow us down, but we will... Darn! Not now! Ugh, now what do I do? lost the signal. Maybe something's wrong with the cable outside. Seems someone has cut the cable while you were on the radio. Perhaps Ashley knows what to do. Check with her in her room. Anything funny and you'll regret it. You are not spoiling the plan.
feed Polly. Polly tells you secret. Rawr! Polly knows a secret. Polly knows a secret. Rawr! Stupid cage. Move the stupid cage. Move the parrot. My back. Heavy cage. Colorful carpet. Rawr! Persistent. Ugh!
Your puppets did a really good job, Sid. You bet! There's something wrong with this one, though. Why is it... No. No! Hey, detective! You want to see a trick? called he ran away now I need your help if you want to survive this he taught me how to make those puppets he told me about the fire it was all a lie he used me I killed all those people we'll sort it out but right now we need to stop the fire from spreading I need your help to save my partner and the rest of the patients Okay, we need an extinguisher. I'll fetch some blankets, too. The flames are getting bigger! Go look for an extinguisher! Get you up. I'll help your friend. Go save the others. Thanks for your help. What about the patients? They're in the West Wing. You need to find a fire extinguisher. I'll stop Zed. Why are you helping me? I wanted justice for my sister's death. But not like this. He made me do horrible things. Let's make sure he never hurts anyone again. Oh. 
The sprinkler should work now. Come on, the patients are in the room to our right. Whoa, I don't think we should be touching this. Let's hurry. I'm glad she's on my side. We need to get out of the building. Come with me. I don't want to stay here any longer. Please, hurry. I locked Mr. Mittens in the locker so he wouldn't get hurt. I've lost the key, and now I can't get him out. Please, help. Seems not everything went according to your plans, huh? No, the plan worked perfectly. This is only a minor inconvenience. Where's the bomb, Zed? I know you had it with you. Ha! What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Nah, I'd rather see you rot behind bars. This might not be the case if you don't hurry up, detective. Tick-tock, tick-tock! Here you go. Now get out of the building. Look for the nurse. Thank you. Hurry, detective. Mr. Mintz has got a bad feeling.
You've found him. That's such a relief. I'm bringing him in. The police are on their way. Don't believe anything she says, detective. Keep quiet, you coward. You liar. Take it easy, Robin. We've already won. He had Gordon's bomb on him. We still need to find it. You can give me your gun. I'll keep an eye on him. We need to get out of here. The bomb might go off any minute. Thanks for your help, Robin. You're not so bad after all. You're wrong. I assaulted an innocent girl just to get in here. I've killed three innocent people. It wasn't completely your doing. We all got played by that psycho. I only came here to punish the people responsible for my sister's death. I wanted them to suffer. Grief demands answers. It demands justice. Zed used that. After seeing you helping me and all the patients, I know that you're far more than just a sad and violent person. I was supposed to be sent here. Not my little sister. I was supposed to protect her. Not the other way around. I messed up. Bad. You need to let it go. You need to become the person Ginger thought you were. You're right. I need to repent. Perhaps there's still hope. Let's go. I'll turn myself in once. Tag! You're in! <laughs> and now... Curtains! No! <gasps> I'm... I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Ginger. And now for the grand finale. I could never hope for a better ending. Want to see one last trick, detective? Sweet dreams. <laughs> Not feeling so almighty anymore, are you? Oh, and this little thing stays with us. Right about now. You want one? <laughs>